let's go ahead and talk about linear approximation. So suppose that we have a curve. Let's uh, call it something like this. Let's call this y equals f of x. That's a curve. And let's say here's a point on the curve. Call this one a. So that means this is your function value at a. So call it f of a. And since we know how to find derivatives, we know how to find tangent line at any given point that's on the curve. So I can find the tangent line through the point A. So this is my tangent line. So what we're going to do is write out the equation of the tangent line. So we know in point slope form, you have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So x1 and y1 are just points. So in this case, the point here happens to be a comma f of a. And the slope, which is m in algebra, but in calculus, that's the derivative at this point A. So plugging those in to our point slope form, we have y minus y1, which is the y coordinate, equals m, which is our slope at A, times x minus the x coordinate A. And then simply add f of A to both sides. You have y equals f of A plus a prime at A times x minus A. So this is the equation of this tangent line right here that passes through the point A that touches the curve at A. Now, what we do here with the linear approximation is that we simply call this uh, tangent line a linear approximation because it's a tangent line approximation, it's a linear line. So instead of calling it Y, we're gonna call that L of X for linear approximation. So we're changing the notation that is simply f of a plus a prime at a times x minus a. So this is what we call linearization at a. Now this is a good approximation, anything nearby this value a. So for instance, if you wanna approximate, let's say, um, something a little bit more than A, let's sit right here, uh, something very close to it, let's call it some B. So if you look at the point that touches the curve, it's right here. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little. So it touches the curve right here, but where does it touch the tangent line? Well, just a little bit more. So you can see it's so close by, not so far. So that point is on the tangent line. So let's call it L of A. And that is pretty good approximation to the actual function value, which happens to be this value right here. So let's call that f of um, b. So I'm sorry, I should have written l of b instead of l of a, because that's the linear approximation to b. So that's pretty good approximation to the next value that is nearby a. And you could also approximate a number here as long as you're close to this number A, the tangent line gives you a good approximation to that value. So that's the idea with the tangent line approximation or known as the linear approximation. So we use this and then when you plug this number B into this function, it gives you a pretty good approximation to the actual function value at that point. And you can check that with your calculator. So let's go ahead and see if we can uh, do an example using this idea. So let's say we want to approximate um, uh, let's do um, a square root of 9.02. Let's do that. Why not, right? So I'm going to see if I can come up with a function and find a tangent line at some point A that is close by this number 9.02. So we're going to choose our function to be square root of x because that's what this looks like. You're approximating square root of a number. So your function would make sense to choose square root of x. And I'm going to choose a number x value. Let's call it a. And that a should be close by this number because I want to use the tangent line to get close to that number. So I'm going to pick that a to be 9. And then once I have my tangent line, 
I can simply plug in 9.2. So visually, this is what's happening. Square root of x, we all know that looks like this. Let's call that square root of x. And you want to approximate 9.02. So let's say maybe 9.02 is right here. Who knows? Maybe it's right here. So I want to know what is the function value at that point? What is that function value? But I don't know that I need a calculator. But I said, okay, if I can find the tangent line right here, which is nine, very tiny, if I can find the tangent line right here, and then, sorry, for the sketch, not so great, but that tangent line, is pretty close to that function value. So that's not so far. So if I plug in 9.0 to my tangent line, I can approximate that to be the function value at 9.2. So that's the idea. So let's go ahead and find this tangent line. So we need the slope. So we need to find M, which will be the derivative at A. In this case, we're picking A to be nine. And then we need the X and Y value. So A and F of A. That's your point. So we're going to choose A to be 9. That means if I plug in 9 into my function, I get the Y value. So square root of 9 would be a 3. So that's my point. So now I just need to find the derivative of this function so I can plug in 9 into it. Well, we know derivative of square root of X is 1 over 2 square root of X using the power rule. And then you evaluate this at 9. So the derivative at nine is one over two square root of nine, which is one over two times three, that is one over six. So that's your slope. So we got the slope, we have the point. So our tangent line at x equals nine, it's going to be um, L of x, which is f of a, that is my y value three plus the derivative one over six x minus nine. So that's my tangent line. That's the equation of this purple line right here. Now I'm gonna use that to approximate 9.02. So now I plug in L of 9.02 is approximately three plus one over six 9.02 minus nine. And we can simply plug this in our calculator and that will give it to us. So this is about three plus one over six, 9.02 minus nine, that's about 0 0.02. And that's your approximated value to the actual function value. So if you put this in your calculator and check what's the square root of 9.02, it will be pretty close to that. So close enough. So you can check that out with your calculator.